Hello boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. My name is Timmy and in this episode we really have to try again to explain how a match should be set up. Because I experience a lot of chats with you guys and the majority of you people are actually ignoring the fact how to set up a match, what kind of role each hero actually plays. So what you're doing is you're throwing three heroes in a match and expect to win. So I made a lot of thoughts and I actually find a good solution how to explain you guys how exactly should you set up a march and the roles of the heroes. So yeah, don't, don't start laughing at me. Um, I'm really trying to find the best solution to explain this and I actually found it with uh, actually this game. You may say, okay, this has nothing to do with top war. Yeah, basics are basics, people. So uh, watch the video till the end in order to understand my point of view. So if we look at this team, this is exactly how a match in top war also looks like. You have the defense buffing hero, you have the offense buffing hero, and you have the dedicated hard hitter. So why am I doing this video? I just simply had another conversation yesterday with a subscriber telling me, put two offense buffing hero with a defense buffing hero and I wanna see the results. I mean, sure, I can test pretty much everything for you guys, no question about it, but some stuff are simply basics, yeah? So what you're trying to do right here, what the majority of you people are actually doing because you don't understand this properly, um, you actually take a hero which is never meant for that position, yeah? Uh, DL, for example, is defense left. So you put it like this and you go into the battle and you expect a result, a good result. Topo is actually not explaining this very well, but in this game, you already see a huge exclamation point right there telling you, dude, basics. Yeah, basics. Yeah, you cannot enter a game like this with this formation and expect something. Uh, majority of you guys, you actually pick three heroes because they are five stars. You ignore their role in a march. You put it in a march. You send it in a battle. You're going to lose for sure. And then you skip directly to the point in which you say, boy, this game is unfair. Now, sure, this is a valid topic if a game is fair or it's not fair but we cannot simply ignore the steps before yeah and these steps has to do with with basics yeah so in this case uh, we have to understand how a setup looks like the same example goes to if i put some defense dedicated defense heroes yeah in a mill and this game already puts a huge exclamation mark on the screen telling me, dude, basics, basics. You have to learn, you have to click on this stuff, you have to read this stuff, you have to understand this stuff. Sadly, Topor doesn't have that. That's why you have this channel. So from this point of view, I hope this finally explains how a match should be set exactly and why it's so important to pay attention what hero has what kind of job or what kind of um, best quality. That being said, I will see you guys in the next episode.